G'day guys, Andrew Dwight here. He's going to talk a little bit more about advanced roofing, some tips on dormers and how to go about adding them. Okay, uh, if, you, if this is fuzzy, just go to your HD button in the YouTube window. Right, okay, so basically I just have a, a template. There's nothing fancy about it. it. You don't have to have this. You can just do this in normal SketchUp. The reason why I'm using it is basically it's just giving me a parallel projection look down on the roof that I'm about to draw. Okay, so there is no layers in here, and, and as you may be aware if you're watching this video, the Pluspec is automatically uh, organizing your layers for you. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just going to draw an L shaped roof here, so I don't need this section here, and I'm going to select that face and I'm going to go to my roof tool, and some really important things for you to understand in here when creating dormer windows. Right, the first thing is, you can have an eaves feet lining, it has no consequence on what we're about to do, but rafter height and batten thickness does. I'm get, going to create the rafter height at zero and the batten height at zero, and there is a reason for that is that when I want to create my dormers, I want them to mesh in with my roof, which also means when I create the roof, uh, it will... Uh, be too low, which means essentially the face that I drew my roof on lines up with my roof. What does that mean? It means that when we actually put it onto a job, we're going to need to lift the roof up the distance of the rafters, whatever size they may be. Uh, and that's important for an architect to understand. Uh, I've seen a lot of mistakes in my past from draft people that have done that, and it affects the overall height of the property that we're drawing or project. Okay, so I have a, a simple 45 degree roof. It does have fascia and gutter. Uh, it does have uh, everything that I allowed in my original uh, settings. All. Okay, so I have this uh, metal roof, and it could be tile or whatever. It makes no difference to this. And what I need to do is I need to figure out where I want my dormers to come from. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my tape measure tool here, and I'm going to figure out where I want to go. You can see at the moment it's, it is on the blue axis, so if I looked at it from the side it's not what I want. I actually want it to be up here on the crimson axis which is parallel to the roof. You can put that wherever you want to. I also want to try and ascertain the center of my roof so I can have three dormers, one in the center. So I'm going to do the same thing but I'm going to use a line tool and you'll notice I don't want it on red axis, I actually want it on the crimson which is perpendicular to the edge. And I'm going to use a tape measure and that's going to allow me to have the center point of my roof so I can see there's an intersection between here and here which means I can now create a dormer window. Alright, if I wanted the dormer I can continue to use my uh, tape measure tool to say well I want it to be this one to be two meters wide and four meters overall so two meters this way enter you can write in imperial if you want to and four meters this way. Okay, there's a reason why I'm using the tape measure tool uh, and I'll explain it later. I'm going to now go across, I've gone across four meters and I'm going to come out the distance that I want my dormer to come out. I'm going to say uh, 800 millimeters, 800, enter. And I can simply go across here and use shift and I can line up all of my points. And from that I can actually create one dormer. So I'll just delete this roof, right? I can select this face and this face and go to my roofing tool and I can go submit and it will create a dormer for me and that dormer is actually cut through the roof that's the face I created the roof from uh, and I can also change this dormer to a gable submit and you can see that we're looking inside of the roof there I can go control Z or I can change it to a, a reverse touch cable. So instead of so select this face, <coughs> reverse touch cable, and I'll say I want it to be say a meter high. Obviously Imperial is the same thing. And it's created a fascia, a gutter, and everything that's required there. You can have no gutters if you want to, or you can simply just go and click in and delete them. All right. I'm going to undo that and I'm going to create three dormers now. So Control Z undoes. And now I know my distance that I actually am sitting on the roof. This is intersecting with the face. So I can actually go to here and say, well, you know, I want the same size dormer. 
move here and if I, I'm going to write in 5 meters 800 and I could do the same thing with this one I'm actually going to move control from here because it's going to save me writing in a measurement right if I select these I could also do that with the roof build if I wanted to and go submit you'll notice I'll now have three dormers also notice that I now have uh, layers created okay so I now have my three dormers and I can say well this one I want to be a gable this reverse touch gable and this a hip submit this one here reverse touch gable and that one just as a gable. Obviously you'd probably match them up. You can also increase the size of them as you see fit. So I'm going to undo that again. All right, and this one here I might say well, I want it to be wider. I can go move. Type in the measurement. I'm going to say meter. And over here I'm going to go another meter. And I'm going to come out bigger. It's a really good way to try and get an understanding of, of what it is we're designing. Notice I'm on the red axis there. <coughs> if I go past the line, let's see what happens there. I'm not even sure what's going to happen there myself. Okay, one, two, three. Create my roof. If you push submit and it doesn't draw the roof, click on the screen, you'll see a result. Okay. Gable. It's just a matter of really familiarizing yourself with the tools and what they do. It's good not to do a full project to start with because you can understand how things work. Before I mentioned that if I actually put a uh, uh, if this was actually sitting on top of walls and this was my wall the problem would be that the roof isn't high enough for the, to allow for the, the thickness of the timber that holds it up which means essentially you select the roof and you would move it up the distance of the rafter. Now I'm not sure what size rafter we're going to use here but if I said okay I'm going to select this face here and said I'm just going to surmise that we're using I don't know, a particular size rafter here it's just going to allow me to automatically create my height without doing the trigonometry and I said it's a 140 or a 6 inch rafter um, and I go submit give it a second it's doing a little bit let's have a look underneath here and see what happened so you can see that I now have rafters in there but I have my roof face is kind of in my way so I can't see what's going on there I'm going to hide it or I could even go to a transparent view and you'll notice that it has a bird's mouth in that rafter. That is the distance that I would need to move my roof from. I obviously had an overhang when I did those rafters and therefore I can now figure out, well, you know what, for me to make that work, I can adjust the roof to suit that size. So if I said, okay, well, this is a surmise that we had a 600 overhang here, F600. And if I pushed and pulled it, clear view's not helping me out. you'll notice that in here I can see the height that that should have come to therefore that would be the pitching point of the of the roof so my walls that would be the top of my walls there and this would be my eave and the feet lining down here I hope that makes it a little bit more obvious to what's going on the main reason we went to zero 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 for our rafters is so we could pitch in these points if I didn't do that it would have wouldn't have worked Alright guys, uh, I look forward to seeing some of your examples. Cheers.